in the vast expanse of the universe where celestial bodies dance their cosmic ballet lies the risk of an unimaginable event, an asteroid impact on Earth. Hello astronomy enthusiasts, welcome back to Astronomy Scope. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on our future videos. Today we're going to venture into a realm that's as fascinating as it is terrifying. What would happen if Earth got hit by an asteroid? An asteroid collision with Earth seems like a chilling scene ripped straight from a blockbuster movie. However, the reality is that our planet is a moving target in a cosmic shooting range. Small space rocks or meteors pepper our planet daily, incinerating harmlessly upon meeting our protective atmosphere. Yet the threat of larger celestial bodies like asteroids is far from hypothetical. Instances of significant damage from the past include the meteorite that left a scar on, on the Earth known as the Barringer Crater in Arizona and the catastrophic asteroid collision that, scientists believe, caused a mass extinction event, wiping out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. So let's explore this catastrophic scenario. What would the aftermath look like if such an event were to occur today? The impact's immediate fallout would be largely influenced by the asteroid's size and velocity. An asteroid with a diameter around one kilometer, while relatively small, could still wreak havoc. Imagine a fireball engulfing and incinerating everything in its path, followed by a shockwave so powerful it could flatten infrastructures hundreds of kilometers away. The impact would also launch an enormous amount of debris into the upper atmosphere, blocking out the sun and plunging Earth into what we call a nuclear winter. However, it begs the question, could an asteroid hit be so severe that it ends up destroying Earth entirely? While it's unlikely, even the largest asteroid in our solar system, Ceres, which is about 940 kilometres in diameter, would not blow our planet to smithereens. But such a colossal impact would significantly alter Earth's climate, geography and essentially life as we know it. Ceres, situated in the asteroid, between Mars, asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, is so large that it's classified as a dwarf planet. But even an object this size would not obliterate the Earth. It's crucial to understand that the total obliteration of Earth is beyond the means of an asteroid impact. Yes, the damage would be catastrophic on an unprecedented scale, but it wouldn't shatter the Earth into cosmic dust. Let's paint a picture. If an asteroid the size of Ceres hit Earth, it would cause an impact crater approximately 1,000 kilometers wide. That's larger than many countries. The energy released would be equivalent to billions of atomic bombs, leading to massive shockwaves, earthquakes, firestorms, and tsunamis. A vast amount of material would be ejected into the atmosphere, significantly altering our climate and potentially leading to a mass extinction event. It's plausible to assume that such an event would wipe out most of life on Earth and drastically change the course of evolution for the survivors. However, the planet it itself would still be there, scarred and possibly lifeless, but intact. The physics of a total Earth-shattering event are just not possible from an asteroid impact. If this information has you peering nervously at the skies, you're probably wondering what the odds are. Well, according to NASA, no known asteroid poses a significant risk of impact over the next century. The word known is important here because, despite our advancements, there are many near-Earth objects that we are yet to discover. Can we survive an asteroid hit? Well, the survival of humanity hinges on two factors. The size of the asteroid and our level of preparedness. Given enough warning, we could potentially evacuate the estimated impact zone and stockpile resources to, to survive the ensuring nuclear winter. As we've discussed, the size and speed of the asteroid would play a crucial role in determining the severity of the impact. Smaller asteroids are less of a concern, as their effects would likely be localised and their damage could be potentially recoverable. However, larger asteroids are where things get complicated. They have the potential to kick up enough dust and debris into the atmosphere to block out sunlight, leading to, as we've previously mentioned, a nuclear winter. This is what would dramatically affect the global climate, disrupt ecosystems and pose a significant threat to life on Earth. Our level of preparedness would be the key factor to our survival. 
Given sufficient warning, evacuation of the projected impact zone could be possible. While this would be an enormous undertaking, it could potentially save millions of lives. Additionally, having a solid plan in place for survival after the impact is equally important. We would need to stockpile resources such as food, water and medicine. Measures would also need to be taken to protect these resources from the expected fallout and dramatically altered climate. Long-term survival might involve moving communities underground or underwater to shield from the harsh weather conditions and ultraviolet radiation due to the thinned ozone layer. Advances in technology could even allow us to grow food indoors under un artificial lighting. As scary as this all might sound, it's worth mentioning that NASA and other space agencies around the world are constantly monitoring the skies for any potential threats and are developing techniques to deflect any hazardous asteroids long before they could reach us, with asteroid deflection techniques being actively tested. One such method was the DART mission, the first ever mission dedicated to investigating and demonstrating one method of asteroid deflection by changing an asteroid's motion in space through kinetic impact. Essentially, it involved launching a spacecraft to collide with the asteroid, nudging it just enough to change its trajectory and avert a potential collision. The results of the mission were positive, with NASA concluding that this approach can be effective in altering the trajectory of an asteroid. One thing we have to remember here is that asteroids have struck Earth before, leaving their marks for us to study. The Barringer Crater in Arizona and the Chicxulub Crater in Mexico are examples of previous asteroid impacts, and the most famous victim of a cosmic collision, the dinosaurs, whose reign was ended by what is widely believed to be an asteroid impact. Despite the doom and gloom, the odds of a catastrophic asteroid impact in our lifetime are exceedingly low. And with each passing day, our skills of detecting and mitigating these celestial threats improve. So that brings us to the end of today's video. We've wandered into the realm of what ifs and emerged a little wiser. Remember, the cosmos is vast and full of wonders and occasionally wandering rocks. Until our next stellar adventure, Keep your eyes on the stars.